Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. Wednesday night, September the 28th. Well, the market rolled over hard in the afternoon, came down and closed into session lows and did not argue well for future prices, of course. And yesterday we looked at some of the boxes, shorts and longs. And although there are some longs that are acting okay here, I wanted to review the ultra shorts and go over the ones that I follow most closely, including the metals. Um, starting off with the ZSL, you'll see that this downtrend was exploded through with a breakaway gap here and a running gap here before the stock spiked up into the 22 range and reversed, it came down hard towards 14, and then today spiked back up from 14.85 to 17.32, closing at 17.18 on 16.3 million shares, and it was up 225 or 15% in one day. Now we got a little bit of a gap here, some resistance perhaps around 18, 18 and a quarter, but it wouldn't shock me if it got back up and twisted, tested 20, 20 and a half again. That's my be that'd be my short term target. TVIX, my favorite. Um, and boy, what a move this has had just since the beginning of August when it was $19 up to 83 in two months. Incredible move. Spike up, pennant, falling wedge, popped to resistance, pulled back, broke out to new highs, and backed off. This formed this rising channel here. Now, the last move spiked right back up to that channel. And backed off to test a uh, price support near the gap and moving average here. Today, this stock exploded from 69 in the morning to 81.38, closing at 81.15 near the high of the day. Two million shares traded up 9.03 or 12.5%. And yet, with the top of the channel looming at around um, 85, 88, uh, or even 90, that's a possibility we may see that tomorrow morning. But we got to be careful up here since it's in a lofty level. Now, if we do get an acceleration through the top of the channel, this could crack the $100 level. Amazing move. TCA, another one, uh, not quite as strong to say the least, and nowhere near as strong, actually, in terms of the angle of ascent. If you take a look at the pattern, this rising bottoms line was held here and here, which caused this explosive move to this declining top line. And a sharp pullback retested that channel again, only to snap back today. 532 or 11.5% on a whopping 29.6 million shares. That certainly has liquidity. At this point, I'd have to say that we may retest that line around 56. We can blow through 56, 57. Possibly we can see a mid to high 60s retest, but stay tuned. It's going to depend on the market, of course. Ultra short energy bear, triple bear, the ERY, uh, exploded and formed this consolidation, then blew out here. And the big breakaway gap, only to have a sharp reversal coming down from 24 and a half down to 18 and a half quickly in two days. Today, snapping back a dollar 90 or nine and a half percent, 3.8 million traded. Now you can see the double top up near near this level up here. That should be the resistance level. Should we get to 24 and a half? Wouldn't shock me to see this stock make it all the way up into the 30 32 zone. We shall see where what oil does. Certainly, should be interesting. Up next is Yang, the um, triple bear of China, which we had put a swing trade on it and it got stopped that quickly as the stock went back down below support, only to spike down towards under under 20. That reached the price and moving average support and then today reversed it up $1.98 or 9.5%. 52 million share trade, I'm sorry, 52,000 share trades, a very thinly traded stock. EDZ. The um, Direxion Delhi Emerging Markets Triple Bear, EDZ, has exploded from uh, about 19 to 35, pulled back sharply to test the breakout point, and then bounced right back to test resistance at the former high in August, closing at uh, 29.98, right near the high on a um, couple million share traded, and up 8.86%. So we're going to have to see whether we can get this to break back out through here, which is resistance. And make it up to my next target and back up around 34. If that does occur, the possibility exists that if the market falls apart, emerging markets spike down. We can see this up towards 40. The Direxion Daily Gold Miners Double Bear, the DUST, but I wanted to point that out today because even though we don't follow it too closely, today's action spiked it up 324, 8.67%. Volume surged to 388,000 shares. More importantly, it closed above this declining top line, which could lead to a quick test of the 44 area, 45 area, excuse me, 
Um, that's the prior high. If you get, things really get out of control, you may see the stock in the low 50s before you know it. To test this double top. FAZ, um, also not keeping pace with the TBIX, but that, that's okay. We, we can see the volatility here. It's incredible. If you can catch the swings, you can make some money. Today, that ju jumped from 59 to 65 and a half, close 65.35. Just pennies off the high up 491 or 8%. That broke it back above this line and maybe headed up towards a retest of the 73 to 4 and a half zone. FXP, the ultra short China, um, similar to the Yang, but a little different. With more, uh, not, not a little bit more liquidity, traded 527,000 shares today and jumped 287 or seven and a half percent. Quite the volatile stock and broke out over this double top and exploded from 36 and a half to 45 in two days. Stalled up in there and then got back right back down, but held support and now back back up again. So a lot of volatility. SCO ultra short crude oil, similar to the ROI but different. Um, Broke out, pulled back to test support, and today jumped back $4 or 6.85%. Resistance at 67 ish, 68 range, and then beyond that around 71. And uh, we'll see if we can get oil to start to come down some and get that one moving. BGZ, uh, the uh, large cap triple bear. Also, of course, volatile, but the double bottom here created this spike up. And then it, when the market rallied for a couple of days, this obviously spiked right back down to about 39 from uh, 49. We're 10 quick points down, back up to 73 today or 6.5%. Resistance in the 49.51 zone, and beyond that, around 55.56. BXX, similar to the TBIX, a very similar chart pattern as well, is also up against the top of the channel. We'll have to see whether it can extend here. If it does, the volatility in this one is such that we may see this spike into the mid to high 50s, even low to mid 60s. Back to the golds, the GLL, which we've been watching carefully, broke its wedge here. It broke a breakaway gap, running gap, and a spike up, right back down to the breakout point uh, from the prior highs that held. And today it jumped back $1.06 or 5.7%. Now, resistance obviously up around the uh, 20 area, 20 and a quarter. We get through that, my next target is 22. And lastly, low price one in this sector, DZZ. Double gold ultra short, trading only at five and change, but it's moved up from uh, under four. We had a nice little swing trade on it here. The key is that it moved back above the 50 and back above the um, mid August spike top, pulled back slightly, but today back up again, 4%. So we'll have to see whether we can get out over about five and a half range. If it's so, my target's about 635 and then seven, seven and a quarter. And that's it for the review tonight of some of the ultra shorts. Very interesting patterns indeed, quite the volatility there. Not for the faint of heart. Good evening.